Good evening guys and a happy Tuesday to all of our sunshiny faces. Did not get up very early today and in turn did not get very much stuff done because um, we were supposed to this afternoon we ended up going over to one of my mom's friend's house um, to like replace some outlets and also um, what's it called um, like a, a light fixture um and so like i said we ended up going over there and it didn't really take us that long at all um it was maybe like a couple an hour or two or something like that it's pretty quick however again because i woke up so late it was like i got some stuff done in the morning i did dishes and laundry i uploaded had my breakfast and coffee and then like couple hours later we had to leave like I didn't really feel like I had a lot of time I maybe could have gotten like one vlog edited and then when I came home I ended up getting a horrible headache and I think it was from my neck because my neck just felt insanely stiff on one side and it wasn't like from like doing like the lighting or anything like that it was more than likely like I felt it sort of a little bit like before we left and it wasn't really that bad and like the most i was doing was like holding a flashlight for my dad in the bathroom because the lights were off you know because we had to turn um there was like no other light in the bathroom so when we turned the switch off for the one light we like i said there's nothing there so we had to work in the dark pretty much so um like i said i was like holding the flashlight for him so that he could see to get the screws in and all that kind of stuff and everything all wired up properly so again we ended up doing that and then that was you know like that was like the most that i really felt like i was like using my arm because i was like holding my arm up like to have the flashlight and so, um, like I said, I really don't think like that I ended up sort of like hurting my neck from that. Probably slept on it wrong or just like really uncomfortably or whatever. Cause like I said, I think it felt sort of off and then it just felt like it was getting worse and worse. And then on top of that too, I felt really hungry. Um, and so when we ended up coming back home, I was like completely out of it. I had to take an ibuprofen and normally like, I just don't like even if like I am like I said like something is really bothering me or I have a really bad headache or something like that which was what it was causing like because I think my neck was hurting so bad I was getting a headache right behind my eye and that's why I normally know it's like from my neck because it's normally always just on one side um and so that was really like I said hurting and bothering me um but then I was also hungry and I was like I can't take anything until I eat so we ended up getting food like once we were back home but um yeah I was like then out of it for like a while afterwards like at least a good hour or two and we got home like sometime at eight o'clock I think um we ended up leaving I think I think we got there maybe around five o'clock or so we left I think around 4 30 um or a little bit after that maybe and then we ended up like I said getting home by about eight o'clock um or maybe a little after eight o'clock and so again like doing the work there actually didn't take that long and was really bad to traffic getting there which is normally like maybe like a 15 to 20 minute drive and it felt like it took like over half an hour to get there so anyways once we were finally done like I said it didn't take us that long like it was sort of short um like getting the actual like stuff fixed and everything like that and again when we came home like it was probably 8 or 8 30 ate food and then it was finally it finally felt like I was feeling better by around like 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or something like that so um yeah now it's like after right after midnight so it's a little after midnight right now and I need to take a shower and get to bed but um I was going to my plan was oh when I come home like I'll just edit then um for today but I didn't get to that and I'm really frustrated because I've been staying really good and really on top of it had I woken up earlier today I would have had more time to have been able to get to that and like so on days when I do wind up waking up later though like today I was really frustrated because it was like I know that we have something else that we have to go to and get done today so I was like and I didn't wake up early enough to like get to my other other things and again like if I hadn't done laundry or dishes or whatever maybe I would have had enough time to edit but those are things that like I had to get to probably a little bit more important because we need to be able to eat off of things and we need clothes to wear um so yeah but like I said I've just I've been staying really on top of it and haven't had like a day where I haven't had anything uploaded and I will again tomorrow still but like I'm I'm scared that I'll fall, fall behind and then we'll be able to get caught back up with it like for the weekend because normally I don't edit on the weekend but like during the week then I'll have like two vlogs like I'll have a day where I edit
bed at like four or something like that to try and again get like caught up with everything um so that I have like an extra day where I don't have to worry about it over the weekend like on Saturday and Sunday so when I was already like one day ahead but again because I didn't do anything today that one day now isn't going to go towards the weekend it's going to be to today um and then on top of that too tomorrow um while we were actually driving to uh my mom's friend's house our neighbor texted and asked if we knew of any electrician that could come and so my mom wasn't really for sure exactly like what she was um what she needed taking care of so my dad's like oh well we can go and like check it out tomorrow um and then if he needs help again I'll probably have to go over um next door and help with that but it's funny though because it was like my dad is like the electrician so he was like if it's not like too over his head which again it's like a lot of times like the stuff isn't like you know if it's like having to like pull new wires and stuff like that like again because my dad is an electrician anyway it's like he can he knows like everything and how to do it but like certain things like like we for example need to have like a new fuse box pretty much it's our fuse boxes are just really old and we wind up like it's almost sometimes not enough to like run things at the same time before we got the energy efficient washer and dryer and I and my parents had window air conditioners or heaters if we wound up like having all three or all four items pretty much going at the same time like in the summertime if we had the air conditioners going and in the winter if we had the space heaters going all the same time we blow fuse every single time we'd have to pick and choose what we wanted to do so in the winter time like when we had the old washer and dryer I'd have to do like take the stuff out of the washing machine and just run the washing machine put it in the dryer wait till the dryer's done then run an next load in the washing machine and like constantly be like I couldn't run all everything at the same time now that they're energy efficient we also have the furnace fixed and the air conditioning we don't have to have any of that stuff going but it's like we are like on the verge all the time of like almost blowing a fuse like sometimes too like if there is like you know something if my mom has stuff going in her office and we have like a um like the either the vacuum cleaner which is weird the vacuum cleaner actually doesn't seem to draw as much as the steam mop for some weird reason I would think that the vacuum cleaner actually draws more but it's actually the steam mop for some reason um and like or like the blow dryer um in the bathroom or if we have like both going at the same time we'll blow a fuse and so and it's just like the other stuff that's also on that too because I actually think maybe no I think that upstairs for some reason and the garage are on the same fuse but also too everything is wired super weird in our house like if the fuse actually blows, like I said, in my, so it's the laundry room, my room, and my parents' room are all in one fuse. And um, so if something blows, like all of the electronics will be out in the room. But the lighting is on a different fuse. Like it's, I think maybe on like, I don't know which fuse it is, but I can still see any of everything in my room, but all of my electronics in my room get turned off. Um, or like I said, the opposite will wind up happening. So if like the fuse that my lights are on, it'll wind up going out, but all of my electronics stay on my room. So it's really weird. But um, so like that one thing, for example, like we need to have a new sort of fuse thing put in. And while my dad like slightly knows what he's doing, he's not very well versed in that and doesn't want to put it in himself and wants to have somebody else, you know, like hire somebody to actually put that in. So like, again, like there's things that he can do, but he doesn't necessarily know what the problem is. And so if it's not like a huge big thing that has to be done, um, he was like, he can probably take care of it. And if not, like recommend somebody to have her um, take care of it. So tomorrow he's going to go and find that out. But um, yeah, so today ago, again, though, like it was honestly, I probably genuinely could have just done the switches or the outlets myself like because I know what I'm doing when it comes to even the outlets like I've learned enough to be able to put those in um and like the lighting is I know how to do that even too like I've again like we put the light in the in the backyard we put the light in over the sink we've again replaced all the light fixtures like I know how to put all that stuff in pretty much it's just more of the difficulty sometimes in either dealing with the box like like that the um like ours for some reason too 
they stuffed so much wire in our boxes in our house like the one in our bathroom switch is really really bad and you can actually see the plate sort of bulges out because of how much like wire is almost like packed in the box um and it's like that for almost every box in the house so like certain ones like that case like it's just tough trying to jam all of that stuff back in there i don't like having to do that ours like i said are way worse um like the ones today were not so, like that we did over at like i said my mom's friend's house were not bad at all but like that is just sort of annoying and trying to like then also like try and screw the thing back on while like the wires are obviously like trying to push back out so it's really tough to try and like get that on and it's just like the screwing the fixture back in I feel like is the more difficult part the actual electric part for me it is totally like makes sense like I pretty much know how to do that um I, I definitely like have my dad supervise me but like if it came down to it I could definitely put in like new switch like we need a new outlet in the kitchen or no in the living room on the other side of the wall of the kitchen um because it doesn't have a ground to it it's the only one and I think honestly I don't really know if they ended up adding the wall or what they ended up doing in the kitchen space area there but um or two because they had it's paneled actually on one wall in our living room but we've painted over it so you actually can't tell that it's paneled at all but you can see it's paneling in there so and it was like that even before we moved in I noticed it and I think maybe my parents did too when they moved in but the molding is different the floor molding is different against that one wall where the um the uh, paneling is is actually different so um like i said the previous owners i think just painted over it but i think maybe when they put the paneling in instead of adding a ground to the outlet they just added an out regular outlet with no ground which is a huge pain because i can never plug the vacuum cleaner in there either um and like other things that i need that has a ground so like it's like i said even like an extension cord like i can't plug any of those in because i need like a a ground and it's also tough because as we're all our, like TV and entertainment center is so when we have like one where we're trying to plug something in with like a like strip we can't plug it in because it needs a ground so it's a huge pain so like that for example would be something that's an easy fix that we can do and um, we need to definitely get taken care of and we have the outlet out in the garage we just haven't done it so um, but yeah, like I said that's something that actually I could probably do pretty much all myself and put in because I know how to do it I've watched my dad do it plenty of times and like have assisted in doing it um but it's obviously a huge thing you just need to make sure the power is off when you're dealing with anything like that but anyways yeah tomorrow like I said I might need to go and help with that too it was sort of fun to get some projects done because <laughs> we haven't done any projects since before football started back in the summer other than now we are just going through all the attic stuff which isn't really like projects like it's nice to see the progress that we're making but it's not like we're not really like changing anything to the house right now that's like oh that's a permanent thing like we put the light in or we painted or we put new tile in you know that kind of thing that we did all last year and then now you know over like since we got stuff some stuff done over summer but then it was like as soon as football started up we didn't do anything else and we haven't done anything since football ended because we've been cleaning out the attic since then so it was sort of nice today to just like actually like do some project stuff <laughs> it was fun um and then again last weekend though getting all of that um like yard work sort of stuff done which is again more project sort of things that we were able to do but that's sort of like clean up to me it's not really like a project like the plants are going to grow back again and I'll have to do it again next winter <laughs> you know so um yeah anyways though guys I'm going to take a shower and get to bed I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys